Hi. I'm going to be talking about rush hour. I wanted to talk about this two-lane road and why I would put such a construction here. I know I gave you the song and dance about the four lanes through and the right lane and the left lane, but that, that was me making lemonade out of the lemons. Um, the, reason, the reason this was like this was for a totally different reason, and I never got into that. And yeah, there's a couple of other things I wanted to show you here. But when I opened this save, my rush hour event was just blossoming. So it's like, you know what? Maybe we should deal with this instead. Right? So what I plan to do is show you, we're going to talk about rush hour, define rush hour, show you what I did about rush hour. And because, well, because it's me, it's not going to be just a straightforward thing. Right? I'm going to show you something that, well, <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's just get into this then. So, rush hour. What is rush hour? What I should do is I should put this in motion. Put this on three speed so you can watch this happen. And so you can tell that it's going to come and go. Rush hour is basically the volume that's wanting to use the intersection, the lane, the road, or what have you, is way too much for the road to handle or the intersection to handle or, or whatever, right? That's why it always happens at certain times of day, because that's when the highest amount of volume is trying to access that, that area. I've had it so bad where it, it backed up like way beyond these highways here, and then it goes away. All right, so it's, it's not like I have to deal with this, but if I want to expand that and or that, and I do have plans, then I should try to fix this. Look at this. How far are we out here? And then as, as quick as it comes in, it's just going to dissipate. And why? Because, well, what's going on here is empty export trucks are coming back and full material trucks for my gene uh, generic area are coming in through here at the same time. As they're doing that, empty uh, goods uh, vehicles are coming from the town that they've made deliveries to the commercial and people going to work are also using the road at the same time right oh yeah and since I got <laughs> parks and industry I got some tourists down there too hey <laughs> but yeah see someone's gone is it gone pretty much right and now now it'll, it'll travel really well nice freely without incident for the longest time and then Rush hour will happen again when all these vehicles just seem to choreograph themselves and coming back at the same, the exact same time. Well, I wanted to do a design a fix for that. You know, just just something. You know, it's because well, hmm, traffic has got behaviors, and when they uh, there's something about a traffic jam or a rush hour event that changes their behaviors ever so slightly. Like you see, they always, they, they pack into one lane. Well, I mean, they're mainly using one lane anyways. Um, but they, I want them to use all four. And eh, for a good amount, they use all, th they use three lanes. What I'm getting at is the repair that I'm gonna get, uh, show you here is pretty much just adding a lane and then controlling that lane. That's not what I wanted, I wanted roads. So I'm going to show you how it starts with an 80 ramp. Just add another ramp here, going in this direction. And what I want it to do is come, come around here, come through here, uh, avoiding this, and hook back to here, right? Yeah, and then, and then connect the two. Now. I want to show you what that looks like. So we're going to pause here and I'll come back instead of taking five minutes and building. Let's just do this. Okay, so we've connected the two ramp pieces together and it looks yeah, just like the rest of the spaghetti mess that's here. Um, it, it's the way I do it, right? I mean, just make the road connection, get it to work, and once it works, then have fun in trying to make it look like something. 
But for now, this is what we got. And it works. Uh, all the traffic, all the trucks that want to go from, from the highway down to the ind industrial area take the ramp now because, well, it travels at 80. This road here travels at 60. And over here, the two lane, and I, I was using this just to progress the lanes, like one to two to four to six lanes, but this travels at 40, right? So when, when they do their math on which way to go, because of that 40 and because of that 60 against this 80, this ends up being the quickest route, right? It's not the shortest, but it's definitely the quickest route. I have a little problem with that seeing that I want them to use the sixth lane just like they used to but in times of need I don't know <laughs> use the ramp so that they don't end up with uh, they don't the, the traffic doesn't back up and give us that rush hour thing going on so there's a way to do that right there's a way for for I can configure this road so that traffic will see this road and all this equally and what I mean is they'll use all four lanes right and this here let me show you what we do with that or how that's done and get into things and here we are looks a little bit different let me let me walk you through what's going on because you can see they're using that ramp that ramp and they're using the sixth lane to get over to the same industry right and that that's the topic or, or really what I wanted to show you the fact that you can manipulate traffic to that point <laughs> where yeah they, they they'll do what you don't expect them to yeah speed three yeah we'll leave it there for a while so how is it done just like my cargo terminals or the the, the harbors I use speed manipulation I guess that's exact that's what it'd be called now it's I guess it's an exploit based on how they work the traffic like how the agents will determine what what path to take the traffic goes and takes the shortest route if you don't give them a quick route if you give them a quick route if it's faster than the shortest route they'll take it hands down right so which kind of makes this confusing <laughs> seeing that there's three different routes well sort of to the same destination and they don't know which one to take well they do know which one to take the thing is I've confused the math along this pathway to the point where they see all three of them or all three pathways as equal now the reason I made this little pathway is because well, I wanted to add a bypass for police cars or emergency services. So I wanted to put this as a two lane road for a good chunk and make it a 40 so that emergency vehicles could zip by and, and get past them. You know, it's like a relief, a relief area, a relief area. But in order to get that work to work, I needed to have this path and I guess to adjust the length of between the, the 80 and the 40 by taking move it and moving this node back and forth or this node back and forth right in order to find the, the the perfect balance where they saw everything is equal I can take this out now and they'll still they'll still see these two as equal they're all balanced the reason how, how I did it how I've done it on this side is I started with an 80 I squished them down to a 30 right now that that little squishing does two things and if you look around the interchange I've got this little trick everywhere and I'm gonna I'm gonna make a video about that um, or yeah no we'll, we'll talk about that then it goes back to an 80 again then it dumps to a 40 and then it goes back up to an 80 well that calculation I guess is too much for them to handle so what they end up doing is they'll test one path and then they'll test another path and then they'll test back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and they end up using all the pathways that you put before them but you got to confuse the speed a little bit right 
I guess I give them too much data for them to comprehend and I get away with this. They use all four lanes <laughs> of the six lane, right? Well, of course, when there's no vehicle there. <laughs> and they're using these two ramps as well. Now, to take something like that, see, uh, I don't know which way to go. Well, there's a, there's, yeah, maybe I should, what I should do is right now just show you what I did with this ramp and make it, you know, to, to make it more, much more attractive and look like it belongs and show you what I mean about how they choose this ramp road thing. And you, you, you'll, yeah, it's going to be some, well, it can be fun for someone. <laughs> okay, excuse me, let's, let's get to the last one here. So, now that we know that the ramp works, now we can kind of put into place, and that's that's what we're going to do here. This is basically me going to show off a little bit of what I've. It's taken me seven years to learn. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I want to show you what, what I how I took that ramp that was that goes from here all the way to here and added it to the interchange. Essentially, I'm going to show off a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> Oop. The rules haven't changed. The pieces are still there. That's the 80. They still use the lanes over here. See that? Let me give this just a tad speed. Speed 2. And they both end up in the same place. Can you mix in there nicely? Uh, not really. Oh, not too bad. See, they still kind of collide, but at least they don't create a rush hour traffic jam, right? That problem has been solved. Oh yeah. Oh, well, that's just a shadow. I thought, the, I thought my bush is kind of involved in the road. And this is me playing with retaining walls, my new obsession, retaining walls and ponds. But anyways, we're talking about the ramp in rush hour. So, I don't know which way to go. Maybe we'll talk about this a little bit more. I'll, I'll no. I think I want to show you a recording of, of the, the traffic switching from side to side, from, from, I guess, path to path. And then we'll talk about that. And if you want to talk about retaining walls, well, I'm going to have to let you ask for that one. All right. starting to look like something <laughs> like something from the real world at least a little bit anyways folks you have yourself some fun ciao for now